The storm has officially become a bomb cyclone. Ah! Driving up north on the trans Canada Highway. The night is sweet, a thousand stars. Van is a disaster. Where did you get Doritos? You didn't give me any? That's a big bag. Did you eat? Where? Where'd you get these? I went to the gas station last night and got some Doritos. You were supposed to just get us water. Yeah, and I got Doritos as well. You should have saved me more. <laughs> Are there any crumbs in there? Oh my god, it smells so good. Oh, I haven't had Doritos in so long. Oh! <laughs> love traveling and one cool aspect is getting to see new churches every week meet new people and experience new cultures it's really fun but what sucks about it is we don't get to really be a part of a community i mean a church in and of itself isn't a building it's a body of believers and we crave to be a part of that but as we travel there's no point in really making true connections and getting plugged in at a church because we're probably going to leave next week yeah. But on the bright side, we do get to experience new places every week and also get to see new places, which is what we're going to do today. We're going to yes. go to downtown Boulder and we're going to go shopping for you guys for the giveaway. Our van just went in the shop. It's going under the knife. But for the day, we have access to a Ross Monster rental van. Welcome to episode one of Chip Chat. Our waters are way over there though. Oof. But here's the trick to love Chipotle. You get a bowl, but on the side you get three tortillas for free and then you make three tacos and have a bowl it goes like almost three meals for me sometimes I, that used to be my strategy and it's still very viable but i'm currently on the burrito kick which is just 
So good. This part of the video is heavily inspired by a channel called Becky and Chris. They are extremely talented filmmakers. They document their lives on YouTube. And they do this thing called Tuxedo Time where they sit down. And so we are taking their idea and running with it and calling it Chip Chat. We have literally no itinerary. We have no idea what we're talking about today. No, but I'm just the really... The main itinerary is to eat Chipotle. I was going to say I'm really focused on this Chipotle right now. Do you get sour cream? You never get sour cream. What? I always do sour cream. You usually get a three-pointer. Ooh, this is a spicy one. What are they adding here? Sometimes the chicken is just seasoned heavily. We got a lot of spice to oh, it. Oh, I lost a bean. This isn't even our van. You can't be spilling beans. I think that's a good topic to talk about for this video. Spilling beans? No. This <laughs> this van. Well, I feel like van life is like overall a great thing, but it definitely requires a specific personality. I don't know. So being able to try it would have just been really cool. Oh, uh, totally. It would either like make or break it for you. You yeah. know, you'd either be like, yes, I for sure can do this. Or you'd be like, oh my gosh. I bet if we took this van and brought it back to the East Coast and rented it from the East Coast, it would drive so much business from the East Coast out to here. Yeah. Not to mention our friends could rent it. And come with us. And come with us. Oh my gosh, that'd be so much fun. That would be insane. I wish for our Colorado giveaway, we could just give away a van. <laughs> you like corn? Mm-hmm. That's a savage move. Casey doesn't like corn on anything. It's too sweet. That's just not true. I like guacamole on all things. Kobe, I love Chipotle. I love you. Couple more things about this van. You can rent it. You could come on vacation, fly to Colorado, get an Uber to Ross Monster, take two weeks and drive this van to Moab, all up and down the coast of California. You could use this van and go on a pretty sick vacation and I'd be pretty sick. Wait, next year we should totally line up with some friends and have them fly out in van life with us. I'm on team. If you have a van, put as many windows in it as you can. And a backup camera. Because it not only helps when you're driving, but it just helps like right now, just when you're sitting in your van in the middle of the day. Mm -hmm. And my phone's ringing. Hello? Hey, Zach. What's up, man? All right, sounds good. All right, so, yeah. Thank you. Thanks. That was Luke from Ross Monster. We're lifting our van two inches. It's not going to be a very dramatic reveal. Yeah, it's going to look basically the same, just two inches higher. Three tacos down. Still, like, almost a full bowl to go. I'm chugging along. You're inhaling that. Oh. Are you going to be okay? Yeah. I got to have some energy to film the tour of this van. Hey, Sprinter friend. I think I like Colorado better than California. Whoa, that's a bold statement. Why? Because everyone's so laid back here. Mm -hmm. Like... I love it, too. I just love... I feel like everyone is just happy because they're spending so much time outdoors. Yeah. Everyone, from, as someone from North Carolina, everyone in Colorado, especially Boulder, they all just look like someone you would see in an REI. Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds me of the South because everyone, like we went on a hike. Everyone that we passed smiled at us and said, hey, if there was an ocean, I would 100% live here. No question. Yeah. Favorite state. If there was a beach that I could surf at. Mm -hmm. Didn't you show the camera that you were done eating like five minutes ago and now you're just like keep snacking on your food didn't you say you feel bad when you eat too much too yeah but it feels good to eat that's it for our first ever chip chat we are gonna go film a van tour right now yep. and then we'll check back in with you guys later at ross monster to see how our van's going a few moments later post post chipotle mm. r and d did you sleep good yeah how long was i sleep 45 minutes on this bed Without, yes, you. Without a pillow or a blanket. Oh, Charlie. Oh. All right, let's go film this van tour. Okay. <laughs> so we just got finished filming the van tour, and this is naturally where I ended up. Anything for the shot. This was where the last shot of filming the van tour took place. And so naturally I figured I'd pick up on this video because I didn't want you guys to miss out on what we were doing. Like this. <laughs> 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 oh, hold on. My phone's ringing. I bet it's Luke. <sighs> Hello? 
Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll head back that way because either way we have to get some stuff out of the van if we stay at our friend's house. All right, see you. Bye. So that was Luke. They're going to need our van for an extra day. They didn't finish everything today. So now I'm really laying on the floor. I might be sleeping here tonight. No, you won't. We're either going to go sleep in the van in the shop, or we're going to try and stay at a friend's house that lives in Boulder. We will keep you guys updated on what we do, but for now, I'll be here on the floor of the van. I say we go for the friend's house. We are packing up some stuff in our van right now. We hopped back into the Ross Monster shop, and we are about to go ahead and stay at our friend's house. like the opposite of our van. Yeah, super purple. What? Oh my, that <laughs> is. She gonna have like a purple bedspread and. Oh, I'm sure. That's it's crazy. Kind of That's actually really cool that you guys can do that though. Yeah, I mean, it's like, can you make a purple van? Yeah. We can. You can do anything. <laughs> That's awesome. Dang. I feel like we kind of like peeked around the corner, but we never got a full. Yeah, this is a wood shop back Dude. here. So we try to create all the dust and stuff back here. Yeah. Keep the noise a little farther away. So, so they had a few things that took a little longer than they thought on our van today. Um, as you could see, the back part of the lift was lifted, but not the front part. So we are actually headed into Boulder right now. We are going to stay at one of Zach's friends' houses, and it is actually a tiny house that was a garage converted into like a little guest suite. So it's going to be really fun. All right, Casey, what are your thoughts? Van life versus tiny house. You're stuck, you know? But this is pretty nice. This is super cool. <laughs> this is so cool. This might be our future. Lofted bed. I haven't been up here. Here, take the camera with you. Oh, wow. Wow. It's like a little room up here. Shower. Oh. Room temp, floor temp. Oh. Ceramic heated floors. Oh my gosh. There's a thermostat for the floor. We should have gotten that in our van. Oh, if only. <laughs> it's funny because it looks like we're stealth camping, but we're actually sleeping in a real house. Yo, what's up, Sprinter Life? Hit him with a sign. What's up? Yeah, we're bros. We're family. Today's our, maybe our last day in Colorado. I'm not really sure. We might pick up our van and leave, but we might stay because it might start snowing. So we're not really sure. Come on. Dude, that's the prettiest snow I've ever seen. It's beautiful. Come on. Look at this boy. Uh, oh, don't don't jump up there. Snow boy. Snow boy. Hey, sweetie. All right, we're back in our rental van. Our van is being worked on. The front of the lift is being finished this morning. Hopefully, we can go pick it up this afternoon, and this video can be over because we just keep doing things, and this video might be like 30 minutes long. But we're gonna go pick up our van today, and that will be the end of this video. And then we have to drive through Kansas, which is gonna suck. 15 miles. We can do it. 15 miles. How does this keep happening to us? Literally 30 minutes ago, not a flake on the ground. Good to go. No, it tells you where to cut. Okay. 
I don't even know what this inner tube thing is, but here's where I've been working all day. <laughs> There's my desk. I had this on it. Pretty solid setup. The storm has officially become a bomb cyclone. But we gotta go get some lunch, so let's go. We are back in the van and it is two inches higher. Actually, more than two inches because we were kind of overloading the rear suspension and so it was sagging. So we're probably like three to four inches higher in the back, two inches higher in the front. Way more clearance, way more aggressive. We can travel off road better and our time in Colorado is complete. Oh, we also got giveaway items. Oh, dude. We are calling what? this the Modern Coffee Essentialist Kit and it smells so good. Let me show you what we got. Coffee from Alpine Modern and a mug and spoon from Cedar and Hyde, two of our favorite stores in downtown Boulder. So this mug is actually made in Japan, but it is sold exclusively in Boulder and it's simplicity and like the, I wish you could tell the texture through the, through the video, but it's amazing. This spoon, I had a minor freak attack when I saw it because it's the most beautiful shape I think I've ever seen. And then, y'all. It smells so good. It smells so good. Also, this design's really cool. This is the best giveaway we've done yet. This is probably the one that's tempted me the most to use. Wait, so you're going to act like you haven't already drank coffee out of that mug? Shh. We'll see you guys next week. Episode six of Coast to Coast. I literally don't even know where we're going to go. Maybe Cincinnati, maybe Nashville. Who knows? But we'll see you then. Thank you all so much. I'm obsessed with everything that I got. Hold on, let me show you. There it is. I love it so much. Everything smells so good. I had no idea this was something that I needed. And now I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to have to get more at some point. So I'm going to have to figure that out. But I just want, I'm so grateful. And this is, I've never bought a giveaway before. So this is kind of crazy. And I'm just really excited about it. But yeah, thank you all so much. And I love following, um, your channel it's actually crazy because i l used to live down the street from zach a long time ago so we've been we we're family friends we actually all went to the same high school together so this is really cool seeing somebody from our my community so many people that i knew and going out and doing something so cool and so awesome like this so keep doing what you all are doing i love following along safe travels and yeah i'm just so excited thank you so much again um yeah best wishes thank you